Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the eTrailer SD tow bar on a 2015 Thor Vegas. There's five main components when flat towing a vehicle and starting on the vehicle side you're going to have the base plate and that's going to attach to the frame or the structural support of the vehicle allowing an attachment point not only for our tow bar but for all the rest of our components and that leads us to the tow bar which is going to be the connection point between that base plate and the hitch on the RV. Now also attached to the base plate is going to be where our safety cables go and that's just going to make sure in case of a disconnect we're still attached to our RV. We also have our diode wiring, which is gonna transmit the light signals from the RV to the towed vehicle, including your running lights, brake lights, and turn signals, and that way people behind you know what you're doing. You also have your supplemental braking system, and that way the vehicle slows and stops when you apply the brakes on the RV, and also there's a breakaway cable here, so in case everything fails catastrophically, it's gonna pull this cable and put the brakes on the vehicle so it's not rolling down the highway. Now this is rated at 6,000 pounds, which is gonna be plenty for our Jeep Wrangler that we have it attached to today. But with 6,000 pounds, it really opens up the window to whatever towed vehicle you may have, as long as it stays under that weight capacity. Some of the extra features that this provides that not all tow bars have are gonna be cable management. So you have these brackets here that has included safety cables and it just kind of keeps everything nice and tidy. Otherwise, you just have safety cables that are kind of uh, floating around a little bit and then it just kind of makes for a bundled mess. This keeps it nice and tidy. Same thing with our umbilical. We have this bar here with a little cotter pin that's gonna allow us to put our umbilical in place and keep that from dragging on the ground. Now, tow bars have progressed a long way, and one of the main things that we see in a lot of the new ones is the fact that it's going to be a non-binding tow bar. And what that means is your arm's going to extend and lock in place when towing, but when you go to unhook your vehicle, your standard or older style tow bars are going to be binding. And that means that to release this arm to get the tension out and pull your pin off, it has to be on perfectly level ground. Otherwise, it's not going to want to release. They do have tools that allow you to pry, but you can really accomplish uh, getting rid of that struggle just by the simple push of a button here because this is non-binding. So even when it's locked, doesn't matter if you're on uneven surface, you simply push this, you can draw your arm back and unhook your vehicle. Speaking of unhooking your vehicle, I'll show you how to do that real quick here. And we see that we have a Roadmaster base plate with Roadmaster ends. And that's something too, just because you have a Roadmaster base plate or a Blue Ox base plate does not matter. You can pick the SD up with different attachments to be able to hook up to your base plate. So you can see this non-binding feature when I go to retract our arm right now, it's locked in position. And normally if this is slightly twisted on a standard style, you would not be able to release this without a lot of force. And this one really doesn't matter. I can spin it in any direction. When I push this in, it allows me to draw it in with no problem. Something else that I really like about the SD is the fact that it suspends itself. It's pretty tight here and that's for good reason because right now it's suspended by itself. Whereas your other tow bars will want to drop down and it's gonna scratch them up over time, and it's a little bit more cumbersome to deal with when putting in place. Now, when you really wanna fold this up and you're done towing, pretty easy here. You're gonna see these little pins. They're gonna go into this yellow latch here. So we'll just lift this up. We can spin these to one side, drop this down, and then we have this stored. If you want to pick up a cover for your tow bar, we have options here. And that's not only going to protect this from the elements, but also these ends of the cables. You can really tie in the bag, have them all ready to go, and it's just going to keep them clean, prevent any of that road grime from getting on here. Some other nice features about this tow bar are going to be included pin and clip, which is just a nice little benefit. And also it is able to be in a rise or a drop position. So when setting up your vehicle, you need to have your tow bar height as close to level as possible with the base plate of the vehicle. And sometimes if it is a three inch or more differential, you're gonna to need to pick up a high-low adapter to adjust that. Well, this one has a built-in one and a half inch drop or rise. So sometimes that can be the buffer between having to get a high-low adapter or not. And that was a look at the eTrailer SD tow bar on a 2015 Thor Vegas.